شكرا شكرا دكتور خالد هو الحقيقه دكتور شريف حامد ده عنده ظروف ابنه مريض سافر كان لو عنده كان انترا كارديك ديفرنت تريسنج فانا قلت هنحسب 15 دقيقه ونقول ايه صم انترستنج اي سي جي تريسنج من المجموعه بتاعتي اللي يعني بحاول اخدها اي عيان بشوفه انترستنج عندي في العياده او في اي مستشفى بروحها باخد صوره ده طبعا السيلنت فيشر مش اريزميا انما وي كان سي الليفت ونتيك هايبرتفي بس مش هو ده القضيه في العين ده القضيه في العين ده طبعا سهله جدا هايبر اكيوت تي والشورت كيو تي ويتش از سبيكينج اوف هايبر كاليميا العين ده طبعا كلنا شفنا الامثله اللي احنا لما نحب نشخص اس في تي بنبص على البي ويف هنا ات از نوت سين او هيدن بي غالبا طلعت اي في نودال تاكيكارديا يمكن لما الهارد دين او الامبول ايزوبتين في رابامير ذا اتس كلير ذات بي ويف از هيدن انسايد ويتش سبيكس اوف اي في نودال في انترن تاكيكارديا وطبعا ايه هنحط ده جرام يوزوالي ذا اي في نودال ستارت باي اتربريتيور ويتش سادنتي جامب انتو سلو باس واي هنا عندنا في بعض الناس سلو باس واي وفاست باس واي انسايد ذا اي في نود اف ذا اتربريتيور كام ايرلي Find the fast refractory and the slow knot. She can pass slowly conducting. While going to the ventricle, it find refractory period end. She go in the fast and into ventricle at the same time, giving the simultaneous A and V. And this is one of my case where you can see that the A in the right atrium and the coronary sinus, speaking with left and right atrial activation during QRS. That's why you cannot see. The P wave during supraventricular in the simple ECG. This after conversion by isoptin. Uh, another ECG would show in the previous slide that uh, uh, nearly wide caress, but actually it is 0.12 second. But the beginning of the R to the ND of the S is less than uh, 100 second. Actually, it's 40, which is speak of SVT with left mandel. And after conversion medically, it shows that Wolf Parkinson White uh, manifest WBW, and we know the mechanism uh, or syndromic integrated, if you know, to retrograde in the accessory. And uh, that what is the meaning of manifest WBW? We have a different degree of pre excitation. We have short PR because it's mostly passed into if you know, into the accessory, where there is no if you know the delay, and if it whenever it goes more in the accessory it bypasses the AV node but pre-excite the ventricle if pre-excite the ventricle which means ventricular conduction slowly it makes a delta the more the delta the more pre-excitation in ventricle and here is exclusively pass into the accessory here it's a fusion between the AV node and the accessory of course Everyone will answer this question in this 24-year-old smoker present with emergency department palpitation, blood pressure 100 over 60. What's the formula? The formula is obtained. What appropriate treatment? Emergent cardiovascular polymorphic VT, procainamide or amidarone intravenous, intravenous lidocaine, delta Z drip. I can show the ECG more better. Of course, you will say the answer is amidarone intravenous because this pre-excited atrial fibrillation no differential diagnosis in a white complex rapid uh, uh, tachycardia. This patient is 80 years old and he is not taking lenoxin and has chest pain. Actually this flat ST depression was due to uh, non-ST MI and the enzyme was very high CK and troponin. This very interesting young lady is about 30 something and present with this ECG. It shows complete heart block with a, a fair escape rhythm as 56. And she is not severely symptomatic, but she came to me, said, doctor said I should put up a smoker. I said, we can do first 
exercise SCG to see if you have uh, need for replacing. Actually, with the exercise, there's improvement conduction. It's going to back instead of complete, so becoming second degree going to back. Sometimes uh, second degree mops, but with more exercise, actually, she become one to one. While at rest, she again into intermittent heart block, mostly went back. So this reason is was okay for her life. And actually, I follow every year. Come exercise the same. Don't do. And even she married and get pregnant without any problem. This to show that artifact may simulate atrial fibrillation after removing its clearly signs. This exercise is easy. And this patient developed this white PRS. This shows that we have a, a not very uncommon type, but it's called exercise induced VT. And the best treatment is actually Sotalol, where uh, Dr. Ahmed said it's a very bad drug, but actually it's a very good drug in uh, non structural heart disease with cautious to the potassium. And I never see problem from it. I see problem with retinol, propafenol, but this experience differs. But if we have to be cautious about hypokalemia and such heart disease, if not, this is a very safe drug, and it's, it's called the beta core in Egypt. This is CVT due to Evinodal, but uh, we don't need to see it again. This very slow F. Everyone will say why. It's very easy because mostly this patient, 84, his doctor was giving him the noxin point 25 milligram per day. Of course, it induced the stat specificity with very slow F and the characteristic is the two of chains of the stat specificity. After I stop the joxin one week, the slow F become again uh, fair heart rate about uh, 70 something with disappearance of a severe change of the cell toxicity. This case of antidromic tachycardia which is rare here the induction of tachycardia and uh, because of, for the retrograde conduction over the AV node and the passing anterior over accessory we locate the shortest AV during the sinus rhythm you can see that the A actually amalgamate into the V which means we are over the accessory pathway at this place we uh, give the uh, radio frequency current it become uh, not accessory you can see that uh, AV increase and the QRS <coughs> becoming not delta look at the AV here and AV after ablation it prolonged it because Accessory was blocked and the conduction was over the AV node. We want to be sure that we ablated. We can place the ventricle, we can see AV dissociation, which means the accessory pathway is not anymore conducting. Here is a white complex card. If we use Brugada criteria, we can see that in V1 that we have uh, RSR dash, but the biggest and most salient feature in Burgada that you look at V6 is mostly negative, mostly it is VT, it is mostly positive, it is SVT with right band. This another, it's not arrhythmia, it is just uh, to show that people with extensive anterior MI we have to look into the limb lead, not only the chest lead. If we find injury current in one and DVL, we are bet sure that this is a very proximal LED, which if left without urgent treatment by primary PCI, it would cause a extensive uh, heart failure, extensive function, maybe heart failure and maybe sudden death. And this angel shows very proximal before the diagonal. And this after primary CI in the critical care medicine department where we were one of the earliest uh, center uh, with the help of Professor Shib Mohtar to do primary PCI from the late 90s and the early 80s. And uh, actually, uh, this, if anyone reads uh, Wellens books, 
he is said in the ECG you can be smart electrical grapher. You have to look for his books. He say I will read from the ECG more than you can read, so I'm a smart electrical grapher. And he put in his book this he said if injury current in the limb lead going to the left or superior, this is proximal LED. If it's going to uh, uh, inferiorly and giving injury current inferior lead, this mid LED, you don't hurry because it will not cause big damage. This to show the type of this lady come to me with uh, this reason. I can see that we have abnormally bizarre shaped P wave in the limb lead, which speaks of atrial tachycardia. It comes into and runs, but it's not very fast, but bothering the patient. After giving amidalone, we can see that it ends by QRS, which speak of atrial tachycardia, and she was satisfied on amidalone, this uh, last tracing. After one week, start to be here is an example of a patient with automatic actor uh, tachycardia who has a, if we can look for Brugada criteria SR dash here, but if we look on V6, we can find that the R more than the S, which speak is SVD with the right bundle, and the acceleration and deceleration speak of atrial tachycardia, which is not very common, but atrial cardia is the least common SVT, and in setting normal atrium, the more likely mechanism is automaticity and usually seen in a critical mean search and it's not in shape by PECs and it has variability demonstrating bit to bit variability with warm up period and deceleration gradual or bizarre shape here. This uh, <coughs> I finish by this to give time to other speaker. This of course a white complex cicada but if we see the complete ECG we can find that, uh, sorry, <coughs> we have nearly one complex in V1 looking like R and S is more than the V, we speak of VT, <coughs> and this according, this is ECG after cardioversion, he has normal coronary which speaks of the basic VT, and all of us know the Brugada <coughs> criteria, and the most important is PRS if you fail to find this. <coughs> and this is a morphological type. You have to look on V6, you find S in the right bundle branch. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor. Uh,